Hello everyone. Welcome to part 12 of tutorial series on Java. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about while and do while loop constructs. In our previous tutorials, we have learned about for loop construct. I hope you have understood that construct properly and done some assignments on that. In this tutorial, we will also continue to talk about break and continue jump constructs. Let's understand what is while loop. While loop is another construct in Java that allows you to repeat a block of code depending upon the evaluation of a condition. So when the condition is true, the block of code gets executed. The while loop in Java is an entry controlled loop. By entry controlled loop, I mean that the condition is evaluated first. If the condition is true, then only the execution of statements happens. If the condition is false, the statement never get executed. This means that the loop gets executed zero or more times. The loop keeps executing till the condition becomes false. Also, it is the responsibility of a developer to not to forget to ensure the termination of loop. Let's see this knowledge in action. Assume that I need to print a line made up of asterisk symbols and I want to implement this using the while while loop. So what I can do is I can create a new method public static void main uh, void print line and then here what I can do is I can have an integer number of asterisks let's say I want 50 asterisks in each each line and then I will use the while loop first time here I'll say that execute this while loop till this variable is greater than equal to 0 and in every iteration I will ensure that this variable is decremented and then I would also like to print this variable asterisk on the same line and when all the 50 symbols are printed then I would like to finally print a new line so now let's call this print line so when I execute this I expect a straight line of 50 asterisk symbols so this was a very simple example of while loop where we used while construct to print the asterisk sign for 50 times and in every iteration we have used a variable number of asterisks whose variable value has decremented in each iteration there is another loop grouping construct which is do while loop. It is little different from while loop. Let's understand while loop again. In while loop, the entry point is the condition gets evaluated. If it is true, then only the statements get evaluated or executed. If the condition was false, then it directly exits from the loop. In do while loop, we have a set of statements followed by a do keyword and then we have a while condition followed by a semicolon this is essentially a exit controlled loop statements get executed first here and then the condition gets evaluated first time if the condition is false initially the loop will get executed at least once if the condition is false initially the loop will get executed exactly once but I think it, it the point is that do statement, do while statement gets executed one or more times. So this is an exit controlled loop. Let's see this in action. So what we would like to do is we will use the knowledge of our previous tutorials and we will use users input here. So I can say that let me create a scanner 
using system dot in stream and then let me write a do loop so the do loop what it would do is it will take a input from the user this input is consumed using scanner dot next int if this input is let's say less than equal to zero then we would try to say that it looks like user is not interested since you are not interested so let's also ask user to enter some value enter a number and we'll ask him that you can you know press minus one to exit so what we are asking him is you enter a number you enter minus one to exit if your number is less than equal to zero I will print since you are not interested if the number is even so to check whether the number is even what I can do is I can use the modulo operator I can say that if input percentage 2 is 0 then you entered an even number so we can say that If this was not the case we can say you entered an odd number and then the condition is exit controlled and we will say that while input is not equal to minus 1 keep on continuing this loop now since variable input is defined inside do block therefore it is not available we can define it outside and now it should be available let's execute this and see so this is our output console window if I type a number let's say 7 he says that you entered an odd number if I enter 6, he says you entered an even number. If I entered minus 1, it says that since you are not interested, and then it just ex exits the program. So this was our do while loop. Now there are times when you need to, uh, you know, exit out of a construct, which may be a for loop or a do while loop or a while loop in that scenario you use the break construct break helps you to get out of the loop it can it puts the control immediately to the next statement after the loop and then breaks out immediately out of that current mode of iteration also note that just like for loop while loops do while loops can also be nested but a break statement only lets you exit to the innermost loop let's see this in action so I can I can create a new class the class name is uh, break demo and in this class I create a main function and let me have a list of numbers and let's let's say I have numbers 1 2 3 5 8 13 21 etc now I can 
I can use a for loop here uh, to say I want to search a number number to be searched let's say I want to search uh, number 13 then I can say that int i is equal to 0 i is less than numbers dot length and i plus plus and then I can say that if numbers i is equal to number to be searched then in that scenario found it should be printed and we would just like to break from the loop note that here we have shown you an example using for loop the similar construct using while loop would be let's say I want to uh, have an infinite loop something like while true here and let's say the assumption is that whatever number we are searching is always existing then in that scenario what you could do is you can have a condition here which is true at least once and then in this you can have your break this will ensure that your while loop exits on a condition which becomes true sometime in this scenario where we were having a list of numbers and we want to iterate a fixed number of times therefore we have to use a for loop and it makes more sense but this brick as a construct can be used in any loop a for loop or a while loop or a do while loop you also saw this break as a keyword being used in switch cases now let's try to execute this program here it says that it has found it let's say this 13 number didn't exist so the program will terminate without printing anything so a break statement essentially helps you to exit from the loop and move the control out of the loop to the statement just following that loop similarly there is another construct called continue continue allows you to stop the current iteration wherever it is it stops the current iteration and then it doesn't stop execution of the loop it moves to the next iteration it helps in ignoring certain iterations let's take an example again what we can do is we want to uh, find number of uh, number of specific characters let's say if I have a string uh, string I can say this is a long long string now in this in this string I can use I can I can write a code that's saying that for int i is equal to 0 i is less than string dot length and i plus plus and I can say that if string dot uh, I can I can check the current character I can say that if string dot caret i is equal to o then then uh, I need to count the number of o's I can say int number of o's is initially 0 and then whenever I find number of o I just increment it and then I just continue from here and then finally I print number of O's 
is number of O's. Now let's see the number of O's in this thing. The number of O's is 2. So it is able to count. There, were, there would be more statement here which would have been executed uh, when the current character was not O. Let's, let's imagine that we want to, you know, uh, say this is not O. So in this scenario, you will see that when we execute this program, you will observe that this is not O gets printed for everything except the actual O's. So in order to check this, whether it is getting executed or not, uh, let's also print here's something like that tells you that if there is some O which was found. So So we can say that when we execute it, two times O was found and whenever this O was found at that point, this is not O was not printed, right? So the basic idea of using the continue statement is as soon as continue is found, the current iteration just gets stopped there and the next iteration is continued. This continue jump statement will help you to ignore certain iterations and then continue with the next iteration of the loop. This is very, very useful. So in this tutorial, we learned about while and do while statements. We also saw how to use the break and continue statements. Thank you for being with us. Goodbye.